hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you how to use wrap widget now first let's understand what this wrap widget is all about I'm sure most of you have must have seen a screen like this where you get this error overflow now why this happens is that as a normal developer when you build something you expect that things should fall should follow the way you design it say for example in this case I have designed this page uh, and I have more than four chips here these buttons I call them chip so I have more chip but instead of the other chip moving to the next row it's saying it's an overflow so for this reason we use wrap element so it could be either in row or either it could be in column so what I'm going to do is I'm going to design this page and show you how this looks and when the moment I use wrap how the chips follow in the next line instead of showing this overflow error okay so so to start up with we're going to, I'm going to build this first um, section because the second and the third section is going to be the similar way um, and yeah so let's get started with the first section so to start with it's the title and then these chips so if I design one chip I can copy and just change the text of the other chip so to start up with let's go ahead with the heading so the heading is nothing but a container and the container has a child with a padding I give some padding for the child just to ensure that you have proper spacing for your title and the padding is nothing but constant edge Inserts all the side and I'm giving a 16 and now moving on to the text okay let me scroll okay so moving on to the text I'm gonna give what's the title of my text it's offers so I'm gonna say offers and then I'm gonna give a style to this a style a color a font size and um, some font weight which I've already defined so I'm just gonna use that okay so this is my heading and uh, now we will move to the designing this button so yeah so let's go to the design part so the first thing that I'm going to use is it's a container so I'm going to say this as chips and this is a container as well and inside the container I'm going to use a raised button so it's purely your choice if you want to use a raised button or a flat button or any other button of your choice so in this case I'm going to use add a padding so it's going to be the same padding with a, a different value I'm going to say 8 instead of 16 uh, okay I think I'll go with the 2 not 16 uh, not an 8 value and then I'm going to use a child with a raised button and I'm going to give a color to this raised button which is a custom color okay there you go and uh, okay on pressed is required so let's add the on pressed but I'm not gonna add any functionality to it and then I'm gonna add a name to the a text inside the button so it would be a child text and I'm gonna give say discounts and I'm also give gonna give some uh, styling to the uh, button 
so that you can get this um, uh, the purple color and the the gray back background with an elevation so let's add that so I'm gonna add the color to the button that is I'm gonna add some styling to the button so it's gonna be a style yeah there you go and I'm gonna use a rounded corner for the button so I'm gonna add a shape attribute to it to this raise button so there you go and yeah let's see this okay so this way you can create as many chips you want so but instead of placing here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a special method so that I can just call the method with the text name so what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I do that okay so what I've done here is I have created a method where the return type is a container and I've named it my chip and I give the text of the chip here so instead of writing the same chip again and again we know that the chip is going to remain the same it's only the text is different in our page so moving on to the body section so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this chip in the row fashion so I'm going to say row widget and inside the row widget I'm gonna say children widget and then I'm going to use that function which is nothing but the my chip and I'm going to give the name of the chip so I can say either sale or I can say discounts or I could say clearance or gifts so now we are done with the title and we are done with the chips now I'm just giving a divider here so it's just a normal um, divider that I've defined here you can see it it's a container with a height and the width I've given it as the media query so that it takes as per the screen's width a color gray and a margin so I have to find that also inside another method called category divider and I'm just going to use that so this is the first section so I've created the title the chip and the divider now I'm going to run the app and I'm going to show you how it looks on the emulator there you go so the app has built successfully and now you can see that your chips has been placed here which is the sale discount clearance gift and my last chip is getting overflowed here so I want this chip to be displayed in the next line so all I have to do is just change this row to wrap so I'm wrapping all my chip inside wrap widget now if I do a hot reload you will see the change okay I think it didn't do a hot reload let me try again there you go so you see that you're no more getting that overflow error and it's getting placed one below the other and also there are a couple of other properties to the wrap that you could use the first one is the direction so I'm gonna say direction axis and I'm gonna say horizontal because I'm going to place the chip in the horizontal fashion and I can also use spacing which is 10 now this spacing is the spacing between your chip now it's going to give some spacing here if i do a hard reload you could see that it's giving a spacing between the chip 
Now I can also manage the spacing between the row chips. So between sale and summer sale or if in case I had another chip below this. So that spacing is also manageable by using another factor called run spacing. And I'm going to give it a 5. There you go. Okay, I think it's the uppercase S. Okay, yeah. And if I do a hot reload, yes, you can see that it's giving a, a depth of 5 here. So this way you can avoid that overflow error. Either it could be placing of element in the row fashion or in the horizontal fashion. Okay, now I just wanted to give you a brief uh, description as to what I've done in this video. So I had created this page where when you try to place elements in the row fashion, instead of placing the element in the next line, it gets overflow error here. So all you have to do is just wrap that particular row, remove the row and wrap, use the wrap widget. So when you do that, it gets placed one below the other. So in similar fashion, I have used here and here as well. And um, you can use spacing and run spacing to give the spacing between your chips and the one below the other. So that's about wrap and I uh, hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a like and subscribe. And thank you so much.